Hello there, my name is Abel Akaratija. I work for the Global Health Advocacy Incubator and I'm presenting to you on CRVS reporting for journalists, that is civil registration and vital statistics, how journalists can help make everyone count the case of Uganda. So what we'll discuss today is the power of strong CRVS systems the uncounted millions in Uganda, the many benefits of universal civil registration, and right down to how journalists can make a difference. So, the power of strong CRV systems can be seen in the following. In decision-making, first of all, in health, in education, in protection, and in planning. That's for government. Also for government and for private stakeholders, it will give them better investment purview, the purview to better investment decisions in terms of the workforce of a country, the demographics, the market size. It's also a tool for enhanced tax collection and all of this put together will lead to economic growth. Further, you have targeted interventions for vulnerable orphans, such as vulnerable people, such as orphans widows and widowers, and also for disaster management, creating a real safety net. So you as journalists have got the social responsibility role to create awareness and also to hold governments and leaders accountable for CRVS systems. Now, the New York Times says one of the most powerful public health measures is simply counting every birth and death. The World Bank says failure to put in place CRVS systems squanders economic prosperity by leaving the potential of millions of people unrealized. The first step to formalizing an economy is to register its bets, still says the World Bank. Now, let's look at the uncounted millions in Uganda. About 1.6 million babies are born every year in that country. About 52% of these are not birth registered, so they lose their right to identity within the first year. Unregistered children are more vulnerable to exploitation, child marriage, child trafficking, parental neglect, and loss of inheritance rights. Also, unregistered births, deaths, and marriages create significant problems for individuals, society, and government. What are the many benefits of universal civil registration for individuals. Universal civil registration gives the recognition of one's existence before the law and the issuance of a legal document, that is the birth certificate. It grants access to government services such as health, education, and benefits. Also opens you up to the job market, to banking, loans, and cash transfers, to voting. It also helps to avoid identity fraud, child marriage, and human trafficking. Further, it gives individuals access to government services. And then children with a birth certificate in India, Kenya, and Sierra Leone were 37%, 50%, and 67% more likely to attend school, respectively. For society and communities, universal civil registration promotes economic development. It assists the reporting and tracking on infectious and chronic diseases to ensure targeted interventions, that's from on-time statistical and data mortality surveillance, and it reduces inequalities. For governments, it strengthens governance and public administrator administration. It enables effective public health policies through accurate and up-to-date statistical data. It increases tax revenues, it saves money, it promotes efficient electoral processes. What can we learn from the impact that The Hindu, a newspaper in India, created? In, 2010, in the 2010s, The Hindu gave ample coverage to the plight of unregistered children in India, and their insightful reports contributed to popular awareness and demand for the Indian government for improved birth registration. You can see that The Hindu still continues to spotlight CRVs in many ways, such as in this explanatory report that it gives about the proposed amendments to registration of births and deaths act in that country your voice matters 
how journalists can make a difference. You can make a difference by telling human interest stories in Uganda. You can showcase the everyday struggles of unregistered individuals and families in your country. Take a look at this example from Global Citizen. Why achieving birth registration for every child is crucial to ending inequality. It's written by Madeline Keck and she starts with a very powerful punch. When a five, when five-year-old Robbie's mother went to register her for her first day of school, she was refused admission. This creates already intensity for you to be able to drill down the report. And so she circles back and then comes at the end to the very, very importance of issuing this um, certification. So here's an interesting piece from the New York Times. It's about the life-saving power of paperwork. Um, it's a rhetorical headline there with a, with, a, with a nice deck, and you can see a very captivating picture of, um, you know, medical practitioners bathing a baby. Here how she begins. The roads surrounding the Jerusalem, the roads surrounding the Jerusalem San Luis Alto Pusidito indigenous reservation in Putumayo, Colombia, are treacherous on a good day. Made mostly of gravel and mud, they narrow to barely the width of a small truck in some places and in others, especially after a storm, they yield almost completely to the many rivers with which they intersect. Now, she is setting a grand stage for you, you know, for the viewer or for the uh, reader to be able to get into the frame of the story and she you know narrates very clearly circles back to the importance of civil registration uh, with all the the evidence that she uses to support this there are more ways you can make your voice count you can open space for debate using your platforms. You can host discussions with government officials, CRVS experts, and civil society. You can report for change. You can craft stories with clear calls to action. For instance, you can make a case for increased funding for mobile registration units. You can go about investigate and report inefficiencies within the CRVS system to help better it. You can make the subject statistics digestible through comparative analysis. For instance, you know, implications for CRVs for different communities. You know, you can use plain language reporting, data visualization, analogies, and vivid imagery. So, in all this, we are in it together. We can work together to make CRVs really, really efficient and effective in bringing about, you know, uh, registered births and deaths in the country and in uh, contributing to economic growth and welfare towards the last mile. You know, you can always approach HEPS Uganda for interview resources on CRVS in your country. You can also look up to us at the Global Health Advocacy Incubator for analysis of the global problems of CRVS and you must remember that as journalists, you are watchdogs and storytellers with the power to create a more informed and just society. I want to welcome you on this journey, and we are in it together. I wish you would contribute to the crusade, and thank you for your attention.